in Bobby time is ready to bring it to Kobe, who's representing our first Sephiroth of the evening, the first thing we talked about earlier today, and now it is coming in hot against Bobby time, one of the best Pokemon trainers I've ever seen. Exactly. I can't wait to see how Sephiroth is going to match. Obviously, some of his attacks are hard to hit against Squirrel. Squirrel is so short, and, you know, Sephiroth is just a really tall character. But I'll tell he you really what, is. he is overpowered. So I can't wait to see his specials go into action, the different combos Kobe's going to use against him. And this is going to be interesting to see. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Yeah, absolutely. I think Squirtle versus Sephiroth here. I think Squirtle definitely gets the advantage, like you said. Very low, not going to get hit by a lot of those initial attacks coming off from Sephiroth. But swapping to slightly bigger Ivysaur or Charizard, I think that's really when Sephiroth's going to get their time to shine. In my opinion, and players may not agree with me, but I think Ivysaur is Bobby Time's best of the three Pokemon. So to see this coming out this quickly, this early on, they're looking to end this stock already. And now Sephiroth up to 104% of Bobby Time, not messing around. But it, it is Bobby Time. If I can say at the very least, it is Bobby Time indeed, finding that first stock onto Sephiroth immediately swapping back onto that Squirtle, but at 40%, you've got to hope you can swap onto something soon because Squirtle can only take so much damage. I'll tell you what. Yeah, if you're Sephiroth, one of your best lethal attacks is the up air. Just get him up in the air. There's no escaping that, no matter how far you are and not even on which direction you're coming into. And that was a great move by Squirtle, just trying to like get him off the ledge right there. Too bad Sephiroth yeah, recovered there. He had the Aqua Jet, but Sephiroth's recovery not great, but good enough to get him back into the game there. And now we see the Ivysaur coming out once again. Would not be surprised to see a spike come out from Bobby Time here just to really send Sephiroth back to the Shadow Realm from hence he came. And right now, the aggression is coming out very quickly from Bobby Time. Only 67%. Kobe already up 140% on their second stock. Mm. Oh, smash! That's all it's going to take. The reaction time just wasn't there. And we see Bobby Time now looking for that three stock. Like I mentioned earlier today, last time I saw him play, it was two back-to-back -back three stocks. I would not be surprised to see that happen here again yeah on that last stock he just released that shield a little too early and if he just held on a little bit longer out of it possibly then he probably would have lived to see his stock for a little bit longer but yeah just gotta know your timing that was very very quick yeah, that was My goodness. barely two minutes. That was a very quick matchup there. The eliminations from Bobby Time, like I said, just a flawless player. An absolutely phenomenal matchup. Something that I didn't there. even get my thought out before <laughs> the match ended. Very astounded. I I couldn't even see what really happened right there. I'm looking at yeah, the replay. Bobby Time is brutal. My goodness, Bobby Time. We should rename it Bulby Time with Bulbasaur. Or Ivysaur. <laughs> okay, so yeah. maybe not the Bulbasaur, man call him bobby vine instead of bobby time bobby vine there you go there you go yeah, yeah no, just a i mean not necessarily a great matchup for sephiroth but i wouldn't say it's a bad one either i think we just saw great execution of the pokemon trainer exactly and bobby time what he uses really is like squirtle mostly is going to do all the damage for him. get him up to like 70 80 percent damage make sure like he's in sephiroth in his one wing form and then he puts in ivysaur to just put in all the finishing the stock yeah absolutely i mean that's that's half of this matchup already over assuming bobby time is able to win that next matchup coming through kobe however may swap back to somebody they're a little more comfortable with sephiroth still very new to the game just a little under two months old actually no just a little over a month old rather so definitely brand new to the game and not something you'd expect to see this early on in the tournament but right now kobe willing to take that chance knows how overpowered sephiroth can be in those glorious moments of bobby time just a little bit better and a little bit more consistent i think kobe may swap back to whatever their uh, whatever their comfort pick may be exactly you see bobby time right now chilling he knows he's sticking so it's gonna be interesting will we see sephiroth again or are we just gonna see another character comfortable for kobe because if you're gonna use sephiroth you gotta use your fireballs those fireballs and the aerial attack those are his best moves so i suggest you just gotta like use them to the best of your ability yeah, absolutely. And now the map has been picked. We see Kobe already locked back in, which of course makes me think Sephiroth, or they were so sure they were going to pick their original character, their main character, that they just insta-locked it. Bobby Time now taking a little bit of time to pick his character, but I've never seen him play anything other than Pokemon Trainer. So whatever comes out here, I can't wait to see what it is. Yeah, let's just be honest. The difference I'm going to see is, or I'm going to predict is just, he's probably just going to change the color of Pokemon Trainer at best, but I'm going to, I'm just going to predict, yep, as I call it. Oh, and we're Lucina, seeing Lucina though, however. Here we, we go. We talked about at the beginning of the stream, we talked about how strong Lucina really can be. She's really up there in the tier list, and she's a great character all around, but going up against somebody as fast and as consistent as Bobby Time, Kobe has to be pretty good at this Lucina to keep up. 
Yep, exactly. I think Lucina is a really great all around with good speed, powerful with the sword. And one thing we need to see, I haven't seen. I mean, Sephiroth has a counter. We've seen other players with the counter. We saw uh, Palutina. She didn't really use her counter that much as well. So maybe we might see the use of the counter, but hopefully we'll get a chance because right now it's 67% to or 84% to nothing. Yeah, and definitely we saw Bobby Time. We definitely see a different level of respect coming out for this Lucina. I think Bobby Time may have known that there was no way somebody could be comfortable with Sephiroth yet, and he could really take advantage of that opportunity. But we see him already playing a little bit slower than we saw in that first matchup. Definitely gave a lot more room to this Lucina to exist and just kind of set up rather than that constant pressure he put down onto that matchup against that Sephiroth. And now Lucina, no, no matter how comfortable she gets, that's Bobby Time already Ooh. looking to take that first stock. It's going to be as simple as a... It's a forward smash, just a charged forward smash. They're coming through, able to find that elimination early on. And Bobby Time just not dropping a beat here. Only 47%. The first stock already missing for Kobe. That stock was just very well timed by Bobby Time. That's why his name is Bobby Time. He just times things with perfection. And now, like I said, now he's switching to Bulbasaur. Now he got Squirrel the damage he needed to Lucina. Bulbasaur is going to try to finish off the stock. Yeah, absolutely. Try to finish out the stock for sure. They're trying to put the pressure on as early as they can, as quickly as possible. Don't tell me they do the same thing. All right, they're going to choose to jump up <laughs> over the corner, and now the Charizard going to come out here. It's going to be as simple as that. Finds Kobe way off the map. Are they going to be able to make it back? A great ledge cover by Bobby Time with that Charizard breath. Now the forward throw. That's all it takes. Charizard just too strong to be dealt with. Now trying to find that third stock. Yeah, or are we going to see another three stock coming out from Bobby Time? We'll see. Let's see what Kobe can do. I think Kobe, what really... She just, or Kobe just needs to keep up, really. I feel like Bobby Time's just been more faster, a little bit more aggressive on the edge. If Kobe can just get a little bit more aggressive, a little more faster, try to pull off an attack, and of course control the middle ground, because right now the ledge is just dominating. Yeah, absolutely. And I talk about this a lot, where players play, they either play proactive or they play reactive, and we see Bobby Time playing very proactively forcing Kobe to play to his speed, forcing Kobe to play the way he wants to play, forcing Kobe to play on the sections of the map he wants him in. And Kobe is just playing that reactive play style, constantly falling exactly where Bobby Time wants. And we saw that three times in a row here. Bobby Time took Kobe off to this ledge and just dealt with them from there. There was one elimination very early on with the Vines, takes him right off the map, and here comes the Charizard into the final elimination. It was really that easy. They just mm -hmm. found Kobe off the map every single time, and that's where the eliminations really started to come through consistently. Exactly. He didn't need a final to just finish the game he just needed to get him off the stage get him into a position where kobe can't recover and the game was just over yeah absolutely and i think we just saw a lot of very unlucky di for kobe as well i mean so many times there were moves where i was like oh, that probably won't kill and then they died and i was like wow that is rather unfortunate mm -hmm. to see that happening definitely not something you want to see and just like that folks our second of four games already over up next we've got skull kid versus mimic after that adr versus jj mouse we're going to throw it to a quick break while we get skull kid and mimic in here but don't go far because as you guys have seen these games have been nothing but phenomenal we'll see you in a minute 